I'm obviously back from the USA and I've come back to grey overcast skies, showers of rain, cold and damp conditions and look muckers I think we can all agree winter is officially here so we might as well embrace it and we might as well start the winter season here on the Lord Muck channel and that means two things it's time to get back in the workshop and start on the projects again so we've got all the old vintage stuff and plus we've got the uh, classics such as this and that means buying more tools as well as other essentials and the other thing is um, the C word constable no not that one what do you want for Christmas oh anything really you would have to worry about me as long as it's not socks or deodorant that smells like toilet duck and Mr. Sheen God almighty you guys smell like you fell into a dung heap kind of makes you homesick don't it now with all that in mind Earlier this year, I went down to Ernest Doe's, who are the Thwaites dumper agents, uh, as well as obviously New Holland and Hyundai and all that. But we went down to get a seat for the little one ton Thwaites dumper that you'll have seen being overhauled on Calamity Kim's channel. That's it, we've now got a bit of clearance there, so we can pull these cables through. And while I was there, we sorted out this little treat just for you. Right, let's go in. Oh, yeah. So just double checking out, so a one ton machine? That's right, yeah, it's a 2010 uh, one tonner. Yeah, we've actually got quite a few of those in at the moment. If you want new to ones? Yeah, brand new ones, yeah. All right. Top of the yard, so. Yeah, I'd like to look at them, you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. All sold. They're, they're all, everything you see here is sold. Yeah. yeah, proper thwaite seat. Spot on. Thank you, Will. Cheers. No problem. Right, muckers. Now, uh, Will and obviously Ernest Doe's have very kindly given us a discount code for 10% off their online store and also the eBay yeah, shop. Yeah, also well. the eBay store. Just type in Lord Muck 10 and you'll get 10% off. Um, and as I said, that's with actually anything that's in here is, is online. But as I said, you know, not, don't just come in here and, and load up a wheelbarrow. Would there be anything else? Yes, do you have a Miss Piggy? <laughs> but if you go online, most of this stuff is there. Yeah. And you can use that discount. Yeah, code. and we can ship that to anywhere in the UK. Yeah. Is even stuff like the, all the tools now, are they on the online? Yeah, they're on our online store as well. All of there, these, and, yeah. and all this stuff here? What, like, like even these? Even these. Really? Yeah. And these? Yes, and those. Yes, and I mean, doesn't matter which manufacturer it is, um, but you know, I've been brought up with Thwaites. Thwaites is a name that, yeah, like I said, as a kid, I can remember the old type Thwaites with a piece of a rounded uh, right. cover on the back. Yeah. I can remember, do you remember when they did that one? It was, uh, had a cab on the side, a forward control cab on the side. Now, I'm gonna have to look into this now because see, this was a bit. It wasn't articulated, was it? The axles had a, a bar across so that they actually went, the That's axles right. swung underneath, didn't they? Yeah, I don't think we sold many of those. I have to, I have to say. But it's quite rare, I would think. It, by now they are. Yeah. But as I said, weights have been around years. If you look underneath what, how they're built, everything is over-engineered. But let's face it, they have to be. The one bit of kit on site that gets the most abuse is the poor old dumper, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it certainly yeah. is. We have to think with Thwaites, they only build dumpers. You know, a lot of companies, they build a yeah. whole plethora of machines. Yeah, yeah. This is their business. They've got to get it right, haven't they? Yeah. If, oh, they, yeah. if they get something wrong and get a bad name, that's their business. I mean, so this is this is the Rolls Royce. It really they, is. they set, really, the, the, the bar, don't they? And everything else is judged on a Thwaites, whether it be on uh, you know, oh, I prefer this or I prefer that, but, but everything's judged against the fights, and it always has been. I, I do like these because the reason we got ours was because it's access, sort of access. You can get these in a lot of places. They're not, they're not huge, are they? No, no, no that's what you people know. have them for. And we would sell more swivel than than, uh, than straight skits, skips these days. Yeah. Um, it's, they go into plant hire. People want to do all sorts of jobs with them. So, uh, so that would be our best seller. In fact, a one tonner 
is our best-selling dumper that's uh, is it really? by quite a long way yeah these days it's gone from ones to nines so we sell a lot of ones we sell a lot of nines and we do sell the sizes in the middle but that's really the two ends of the market go back 20 years ago three tons three it was everywhere the three tons didn't they yeah and then you started to see some sort of fives you know and sixes and you know I always liked that sort of size. It was a nice sort of six and seven was a good size for you know for what we use. Thwaites are built in Leamington Spa, as you know, yeah. and uh, the, the the pandemics really uh, um, hit them hard in in terms of availability of parts. So just simple things, the axles, the wiring looms. So we haven't sold as many Thwaites dumpers this year that we'd like. The demand is there, yeah. uh, but. They right. just haven't been able to build quick enough, and it, it, it's not their fault, you know. That's how it is. It's throughout the industry, no matter what manufacturer, yeah, they're all suffering the same problems, aren't yeah. they? Now, recently, I got uh, absolutely sodden wet through uh, on my old uh, Fordson Major. The one thing when I was getting absolutely drenched, I was thinking of was the last time this happened, I was uh, on a dumper. Now, the reason for that is because most dumpers don't have cabs, but things are changing, aren't they? They are, isn't it odd that the excavator driver has his air conditioning or his, his, uh, his radio, his heating, air seat, yeah. and the poor old guy that sat on the dumper outside in the elements, he didn't have a cab, but, but things are changing now, and legislation is driving that, Yeah, um, that's for sure. There was normally a reason though, because of there was a hierarchy on site, wasn't there? I don't understand what you're saying. No, no, not no. at all. Um, but then again, like I've just said, I was driving a dumper, so we will we'll go any ah, further with that. No, there is, and it's about time, because <laughs> it could be horrible, can't it? You know, yeah. you're sat there with just a, a, like an oil skin coat and trousers on that still gets in everywhere. So, we're looking at this now, and it, it's not something that's just welded, fabricated, cobbled on, and. You know so now these are purpose-built now um, and, and it is health and safety driven you, you can't have a guy out on a dumper um, in no. all weathers and also the the ability to be hit by a bucket or something else on site the legislation would say if you're on a dumper without so without a cab on when the load when you're well, loading, you've got to get off you've got, you've to, get got, off, to, you've got to stand somewhere yeah. but that's okay you're on a muddy site but where do you go you know do you go and stand somewhere that might be not safe either so um, yeah, the, the, the cab's coming in and there's certainly going to be more and more. Has he got though, has he got the air con and has he got that nice seat yet? Or yes. is that, is... Yeah, yeah, it's all in there, yeah. It's all air con, yeah. yeah. You can't sit in there all day well, without genuinely, that's got air con. That has got air con. Yeah. I was, I, that was that, honestly, that's got air con in <laughs> yeah, that. Of course, you'd be, you'd be sitting in That the, would be you, awful, you, wouldn't it? You would be pretty hot and sweaty. I'm quite impressed with that now. I just genuinely thought, when I said that, I thought you were going to go, yeah, they'd like it, but you know, no. Yeah, no, 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 it's got air con. Has it got the massage seat? Heater. No, not yet, but yeah, you see. if you wanted one, I'm sure they'd put one in. <laughs> so, there we go, muckers. Now, when we actually filmed that, the whole idea was that that offer, the 10% off, was going to run until the end of October. In between that time, Doe's reached back out to me and said, Mucker, don't put the video out yet because things are tight for everybody. You know, uh, individual household members, right through to businesses at the moment. And they said, look, we really do want to help, you know, the Muckers with what we can. We've got Christmas coming up and whatever. So, Muckers, they've extended that offer, right? So when you're watching this now, it goes not to the end of the month or end of November or December, it goes right through Christmas to the beginning of February. Bingo. So, like I said, muckers, can't thank them enough. So that offer, 10% off, which applies to the online shop and the eBay shop only, as I said, but everything's on there, goes right through, right now, through Christmas up until the beginning of February. Right, muckers, question time. Very simple, really, because in the last episode of Mucking About, episode 14, I asked you lot, what should temporarily replace the uh, Kelly's Heroes poster that's up in the office? And uh, should it be a truck, tractor, or, or should it be another movie poster? And I think the general consensus of opinion is it should be from another movie. Fair enough. So, um, what movie? Put your answers in the old squid pit below, muckers, in the old comments section. And uh, then I can narrow that down and uh, get that organised. Now, speaking of tools, 
If you're aged 18 or under, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you keep your eyes peeled for the next couple of weeks because I've got a fantastic opportunity for you to win an amazing prize, all right? Good job, the bubbles. So we've got a brand new uh, five drawer Sealy top box here, still all in the box. And to go with it, how many tools? Uh, fucking all of them. Seriously, look, how nice is all this, look? Everything you can want to get started with. Absolutely fantastic. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna announce the, the uh, details of how you can enter. It's very, very simple. As I said, there'll be one massive main prize, which I'm so stoked about. Uh, but anyway, if you enter, you're gonna get a runner's up prize anyway, like a goodie bag of stuff made up for myself and Ernest Doe's and New Holland and people like that. So it is well worth entering anyway. But as I said, an amazing prize. Well, is it that time again? It is. Right, muckers. So uh, the last video, I said, don't forget to give the video a like, muckers. Every like that the video gets, she gets a biscuit. We got a lot of likes, didn't we? So uh, if I continue it like that, she's going to end up the size of an old Frisian heifer. Uh, so I'll change that. Don't forget to like the video, muckers. Every 50 likes that the video gets, she gets a biscuit. Is that all right? What do you mean, no? You're not happy about that, are you? That's tough. So there we go. Every fifty, every fifty. No, I can't say it. no. You can't do that. You just end up massive. So it's got to be every fifty. Is that all right? Oh, not happy, is she? So there we go, muckers. Until the next one. Do well.